Hello dear students, hope you are doing well. We will start with um, chemistry grade 10 for normal schools and I will start explaining them section by section. Hope you benefit from it. Let's start with section number one which we'll be talking about how chemistry is a physical science. But first let's talk about how many types of natural sciences do we have. We have two. Number one, biological sciences. Number two, physical sciences. So what is the difference between biological sciences and physical sciences? From their name, you'll know that biological sciences, they focus on only living things. On the other hand, physical sciences, they focus on non-living things. That's the difference between the two types of sciences. Then let's talk about uh, chemistry, what is chemistry, or let us define chemistry. Chemistry, or an accurate definition of chemistry, is that it is the study of the composition, what things they are made up of, the structures, how they are connected together, and the properties of matter. Later on, we'll talk about what is matter, what can be defined as matter, and also the processes that matter undergoes, any yani changing from something into something else, for example, or, or going back or changing from one thing into more than one thing. We will talk about that later on on other chapters. Sometimes in chemistry we use instruments. In your book, they have mentioned two types of instruments. Number one, scanning electron microscope, and number two, x-rays. So only know the examples of the instruments that are used. So chemistry can be divided into six classes or six types or six sub subjects. Number one, organic chemistry. Number two, inorganic chemistry. By the way, organic chemistry is my personal favorite. Number three, physical chemistry. Number four, analytical chemistry. Number five, biochemistry and number six theoretical chemistry let's define each one of them so we know the differences between all six classes or all six sub subjects number one organic chemistry anything that has carbon in it who studies it organic chemistry okay so any compound that has carbon in it carbon containing compound most of them for example if i say carbon dioxide this does not count okay Carbon monoxide, this does not count. Otherwise, other uh, compounds, anything with carbon, for example, methane gas, CH4, this counts, or C2H6. Anything with carbon, it counts other than carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide. So, um, inorganic chemistry, the definition of inorganic chemistry, anything which is non-organic. What does that mean? anything that does not have carbon in it okay for example let's say nacl so the the science that studies it is inorganic chemistry because it does not have carbon in it okay so other elements other than carbon we uh, study them by inorganic chemistry number three which is physical chemistry is the study of properties and changes of matter and their relation to energy anything related to energy for example, some reactions, they need energy in order for them to occur. Other reactions, no, they give us energy, so they give out energy in order for the reaction to occur to become more stable. So anything related to energy, who studies it? Physical chemistry. Analytical chemistry is the identification of the components and the composition of materials. So what do we have inside this material and how much of it do we have? The percentage, their percentages. Uh, who studies it, analytic chem chemistry, and most of the time you use devices in order to uh, study compounds. Number five, biochemistry. Bio coming from biology, so anything that is living thing, uh, how do we study it, their composition? We study it by biochemistry, which is the study of sub substances and processes occurring in only living things. The last one, which is theoretical chemistry is the use of mathematics, numbers, and computers, how to process them, to understand the principles behind observed chemical behavior, okay, which is more uh, commonly used in research, let's say. 
So all of these were classes of chemistry. You have to memorize them, at least memorize their names and know the differences between all of them. Okay, let's go to, we talked about chemistry then. What is a chemical? Chemical is any substance that has a definite composition. For example, sucrose, for example, salt, uh, for example, water. Uh, we know exactly what is it made up of and how much. For example, uh, sucrose or table sugar, it is C12H22O11. So know that it is made up of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. How many of them? These are the numbers. So 12 carbons, 22 hydrogen, and 11 oxygen. So this is a chemical. All of it together, it's sugar or sucrose, which is a chemical. Water, H2O. Two hydrogens, one oxygen. So this is a chemical. So the last thing we have, which is types of research. We have basic research, number one which is the easiest one. Number two, applied research. Number three, technological development. So the differences between them is that basic research is your starting point. So for the sake of increasing knowledge, for example, something is un uncommon is happening. You want to know why does it happen? You have to study it, Mona. So studying it in order to know better about the substance or this thing that is happening, it's basic research. Then, for example, an issue is happening. We have the ozone layer. It is becoming bigger. We want to know how is it becoming bigger and how can we stop it. That's applied re research, for example. Technological development, we use devices such as, um, let's say, computers. Let's say, uh, number one, computers. Number two, catalytic converters, for example, in cars, in order to not give us toxic gases biodegradable materials for for example instead of plastic let's say we use them um, which will be better for us in the future for the environment as well these are the three types of research basic your starting point then you're knowing uh, you're trying to know about something then we have the applied research which is step number two we want to solve that problem let's say and number three, we use methods, we use, let's say, products, we develop something in order to exactly cure this thing that is happening. So this is the end of our section number one. We will do section number two later on, inshallah. Um, see you guys later.